everyone's paying attention to what's going on in the world, but there's tremendous amount of change. Most of it is leaning to what we've been teaching for the last uh, uh, five, six years, actually, which is about how the consciousness of humanity is shifting and to a greater understanding of uh, the truth, you know, and, and the truth is coming forth out of many, many sources. Uh, it can't be hidden anymore. And what that is showing us is that we as individuals also must confront our own truth, that truth cannot be denied. In the past, we've talked about it, and uh, many people have said, oh, you know, is Rosa Maria going to be sharing the same information? You know, is it going to be similar? The answer is yes, because it is similar information taught in a different way, because each time I come, I, I have a new perspective to try to share a greater understanding. And what the focus is, is to allow each of us to honor the journey of which we've taken part in living our lives. And that journey has started since we were children. It is not any different now as adults. And sometimes we might even look at ourselves as just grown-up children might be most appropriate. The only difference between being a grown-up child is a child sees no limitation in its ability to do anything. If it sees a high mountain and wants to jump off, the child will jump off the cliff into the water without any, any question of its ability to get into the water and be able to survive. You get, as an adult, you're a little bit more concerned about the potential of damage or, or harm done to the body. So you don't jump off those cliffs anymore like you did as a child. And if we as adults would start to realize that those things that we're jumping off are our life experiences, the, the elements of what we're doing in the world today, the stressors of our jobs, our families, all that's happening uh, politically and environmentally are all a part of how we think and what we're doing in the world. And it's that same cliff that you're jumping off. It's whether or not you have the strength and fortitude to choose a different path and to make a big change in your life. That's why I always tell people when we're doing the open healing, it's not I that do any healing. I'm simply a tool and I always say I'm a tool in the shed of the garden of God and that we are the flowers, we are the trees, we are that environment. I often say that I'm the rake helping to clear some debris so that you might see that we see ourselves more clearly. Sometimes I say I would be the hoe, that the path might be straighter so that the energy and the consciousness of who it is you are can flow more freely and a greater understanding of your truth and where you're going and where you would like to go. That's what we are all here for. Other times I'm saying that I'm like the pick, helping you to break down the walls because we're always breaking down obstacles, those parts of ourselves that don't see the truth and wonder and beauty of whom we are. We are God-given beings, and we are no less than that. And don't ever allow anyone to tell you that we are, for we are not. And other times I say that I'm like the shovel. I simply pick a portion of dirt out of the ground and plant a seed. And perhaps that seed awakens in each of us a greater understanding of our true potential, that we are creators. That seed is what we're creating. What will our future look like? What will our final words be? In a moment, in a conversation, will it be a negative or a positive? And how will it reflect on the individual? Every word that we speak has power. Every action we perform has an effect. It does not stop with each of us, but it starts with us. We must begin to recognize that we are a part of everything and every moment in which we change our thinking in that manner that 
how is it that my words, my actions, my deeds will affect the world? And someone might say to me that, that that's an impossibility. I'm just one small person. Well, this grand ocean that you see behind me was one small raindrop that became many raindrops that became this vast sea. Are you not just like that? Are we not? There are billions of human beings on this planet. We are one of those beings. And we have an opportunity to change the way we think and to change the planet in our thinking. Science is proving that our thoughts actually affect the environment and they can be infectious. Love is like a disease of wonder, as is the discovery of what hate can do. Hate kills. Love flourishes. We're part of that love. We are part of something grander. And it is what we start to think with this wondrous mind that has been given to us and this vehicle that we call our corporal body. How do we choose to utilize this? That's the key.